Today we're going to make a poster. I chose Playboy Cardi for this design. The past three weeks I've been listening to this album, a whole lot of red. Good music to listen to when you, you know, got to knock shit out. So I'm going to design a poster and then I'm going to show you how to take that poster and design a couple merch pieces around it. Before we do that, please subscribe, hit the like button, comment, share. Let's get started. Let's jump right into Photoshop. To get started on this poster, I'm going to show you all what images I pulled. My assets are this image right here. I got a Playboy Cardi image I pulled from Google and I pulled a logo. This logo uh, he used on his VLong collab. I found the logo and I live traced it on Illustrator and I brought it back in. This piece of art right here, it's very important. Just go on Unsplash or Pexels.com and yeah, just go in there and type in like uh, grungy poster texture and like wheat paste poster or poster grunge. This is like the bread and butter of the graphic. I have that and then I have this, my Playboy Cardi image. I think it'll be easy to cut out. And then I have his logo. It's really just three pieces of art and the text. I just went and pulled all my assets and cut them out already. And I just like saved them on my iCloud library under Playboy. Yeah, it's just easy for me to just drag and drop on the canvas. All right, so I want to start with uh, maybe, I'm gonna start with white as my drop color. Next thing I'm gonna do is pull Playboy Cardi out, blow them up. Normally the standard size for a poster is 18 inches by 24 inches. So for this, I just scaled down nine by 12 just so the computer runs smooth. All right, I'm gonna cut him out this background, go into properties here, make sure let's rasterize this image real quick. Smart object, rasterize, then go to the properties panel and go to quick actions here. Just pull down the tab, remove background. And yeah, it's good. It's money. I like to make my background red to see if there's any, I mean, this is, this is fine for the style we're going with. Like, you know, normally you would just want to clean this up, but for the style we're going with, um, it's, it's fine. So we're going to leave that. Make this white again. Let's convert this to a smart, I mean, a smart filter. I'm going to jump right into camera raw, treat this bad boy. All right. So go to basics. I want to bring up the blacks it's too washed out for me. So let's bring out the blacks. Let's bring out the whites a little bit more, you know, just add a little crispiness to it. I bump down the highlights, bring up the exposures a little bit, bring up the contrast. I don't want to bump up the contrast too hard because I don't want to get rid of these like creases here. I think that'll work for our design. Let's go to curves, bring up the highlights. See, like it's bringing up all these little nooks right here, little bright spots like that. And then the lights, bring it up. Then shadows, maybe bring it down just a tad. Darks, bring it, bump it up just a little bit. One more thing, let's, let's go into detail. And I think I wanna sharpen it up. Bring up the sharpening, noise reduction, color noise reduction just a little bit. And hit okay. Bam, see the difference? Yeah, let's uncheck that. Strong, scaling up. All right, bet. So that's good. So I'm gonna drag and drop this poster image right here. Okay. Send it back. So for this design, the most important thing, you know, of course, is the images you pick out and it's also the blending modes. Play with the blending modes and see what we get. See what pops out. Linear light is popping for me right now. So that's good. And now it's just playing around with, you know, it's layering up. It's like stacking. So I want to take this Playboy Cardi layer and maybe duplicate it. That's Command J. Just make sure you're on that layer and drag behind the poster image. With that poster image, I want to play with the blending modes. See what we get. So I chose multiply. So Again, this is just like sandwiching up layers. All right, so I'm going to copy this poster texture layer and bring it up on top of Playboy Cardi and play with the blending modes there. Let's make it like soft light. That's good. 
so I want to go back into the background layer and maybe give it like a gradient map. Um, I have a bunch of gradient maps that I made, so I'm just going to use those. But you can, you know, you can add a gradient map adjustment layer and then add your own colors to it. So I chose this gradient map, which works pretty good. Got that in the back. I want to kind of fix this right here. Maybe just like, maybe lighten. Lighten looks crazy. I want to select the Playboy Cardi layer. Hold command on that layer and click it, make a selection. And then now I want to go to that layer and give it a mask. And brush out some stuff. Let me see if I can make that, that back gradient map just bring down the colors a little bit. Let me re reverse it, maybe. No. Maybe it's not this gradient. Let me just see if I can play with something like maybe like a two color gradient. Red, maybe yellow, I don't know. Let me see. Oof, that looks cleaner. Give it a gradient map, two colors. You could pick any color you want. Maybe, maybe, maybe not green, maybe like blue. Yeah, that's hard. The blue is harder. That's dope. Yeah, I like that. Yep. So give it that blue, maybe add another color, see what we get. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Let's get rid of this one. And uh, it's like a reddish to a purple to a bluish. And you get this. All right. So what I want to do is I want to bring some of that texture up front. So I want to go to one of those poster layers and extract like little pieces from it. So let me just go to one of those images and copy it and then drag it all the way up top and make the blending mode normal just so I can see what's going on and then go to my quick selection tool. Just grab a couple pieces from this image. Just a little. All right, so I have a good selection here and I'll copy command C that and then paste it and then get rid of that layer. And it gives you like a nice, little, like an overlay that makes it look a little bit more ripped up, which is pretty dope. And then maybe give it like a, maybe like play with the hue satch. Give it a hue satch adjustment layer on top. Let's clip it to that layer though. All right, bet that's that's pretty dope. So now I'm gonna take this layer right here and maybe like some of it. I'm gonna give it a mask, which is right here. Just make sure you're on that layer. Just give it a mask. Go to the Playboy Cardi image layer. Hold Command to make a selection. Go back to the mask. Use a brush. We'll make sure it's on black. The swatch and just brush in some of it. So you get these little pieces that are like right on top of them. Get some depth into this graphic. Uh, I want to play with the maybe the hue satch a little bit more. I don't like the way that's looking right there. I mean, maybe I don't need it. Let me see if I can mask it out a little bit. Just make sure I make the playboard card selection. Go back to that mask and just get rid of that piece right there. You don't need that. You don't need that. We don't need that. This is looking pretty freaking sickening. I'm liking the way this is coming out. It's pretty freaking fire, if you ask me. From here, let's give it some type, man. I already pulled my type. 
and my type is done because I usually make my type on Illustrator, you know? I drag it right in because I feel like it's the cleaner way to do it. It's just personal preference. You do what you got to do. I type it on Illustrator and drag it in as a smart object. I want to make this type white. White. Let's make it white. Boom. That's looking pretty fire. Make sure your type is on top of everything else. Um, then I want to add a black box behind it. I'm going to hit D on my keyboard just to go to default black and white. Go to my shape tool. Drag out a black box. Boom, to make this, oh, to make it pop out. We're going to drag it right behind the text layer. I'm happy with this joint. It's pretty tight, tight, tight. So there you go. Yo, it's experimenting, man. Like you're going to get on and you're going to come up with some crazy shit and you're going to stick with it, you know? So that's what I'm doing here. All right. So I got my Playboy Cardi text here. So I pulled the Playboy Bunny online and I thought this would work for the O, which is pretty sick. Yeah. So we got that. And then. So I went on Illustrator and made a pattern out that VLON logo, and it looks like this. So I'm gonna drag it right in. So it's pretty much just a repeat of that logo. I'm gonna scale it up a little bit, and I'm gonna send all the way back. All the way back, but on top of that background layer, which is not on top of the background layer, hold on. Which is, yeah, it is. All right, on top of that, actually on top of the gradient map layer, into white so that's just going that's going to blending options and giving it a color, color overlay hit okay all right so so what i'm seeing is the logo layer showing through uh cardi's face i'm gonna go to that cardi layer make a selection that's, that's holding down command and clicking on that layer and go back to the logo layer and give it a mask it's inverted, so I would have to invert it back. I would have to stay on that mask layer and then command I, it'll invert it out. Another piece I added was a, a, just a the VLON logo. What I want to do is go to this little tab right here on the layers panel and then convert to smart object. When you double click that, it'll open it up on a separate file. Scale that down. This is so you can pretty much isolate some art and like work on it on a separate file and once you save it it'll apply it to the master file i want to add a white background to this click on both layers convert to smart filter and now going to filter pixelate i just want to add a little flare to it maybe like color half tone i want to make sure all my channels are on 45 so they align and then the radius, I want to play around and maybe do a 22. That's 22 much. <laughs> All right, so I want to make that a six. Let me see. Yeah, maybe six, maybe double click, maybe like an eight. That's cool. From here, I want to go to select color range, select the black color, hit OK, and it'll just select the black. I want to give it a mask so we can get rid of that white and hit save we return to the master file close it see what we get bam all right so now i want to add a right behind it i want to add a shape and that's a ellipse tool just hold down shift drag it out it's a pink color now, but I think I'm going to go with uh, blue shape layer. I just want to go to the blending options. Give it a color overlay and then click on the swatch and just eye drop a blue. Hit OK, hit OK. I want to make the face same thing. Blending options and that's holding down control on that layer. Blending options and go to color overlay and maybe give it a white. Which, yeah, that looks better to me, you know. 
So that's cool. Maybe I want to take this layer, this ellipse layer and give it like a drop shadow so it could pop right out. Drop shadow that, boom. That's, you know, that's just a black drop shadow. You could play around with the settings, get what you, you know. So I think I'm good with this right here. Just to give it like a little pop. Maybe that's too much. Let me go back. Drop shadow, bring down the size and then bring down the opacity. It's too strong. I just want a little pop and that's it right there. Boom. And you can do that with this, like maybe like these little pieces right here, this little, this layer right here with the pieces. Maybe let's add a drop shadow, see what happens. Maybe it could just pop out a little bit more. Let me see, drop shadow, size, opacity, bring that up a little bit. Yeah, just a little pop, just a little bit. All right, I'm good with this. Let's go. Fine, fine. Normally, you know, to put the cherry on top of this design, I like to play around. I like to give it uh, an adjustment layer, color lookup. I do it on all my videos, man. This is like the cherry on top. So I want to make sure on my properties panel so I can scroll through all the presets. Kind of just want to go down the list to see what really, you know, pops out. I think Kodak 5218 is it for me. I don't want to keep looking. I know this is it. So now I want to select all my layers, put them in the folder. So I have them all in one place. I want to command A, so that's command all to select the canvas. And then I want to give it a mask on that folder layer. What I want to do now is uh, go to my crop tool, go to the corner, all the way to the corner, hold shift and option at the same time and then drag out. I want to proportionately, you know, give it a border. Yeah, like a quarter inch maybe. Hit return. So I kind of want to fix this part right here, right? Cause I want to be able to drag this shape down a little bit. Bam. Okay. Maybe a little bit too much right here. Put that down again. Ah, 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 ah. All right. Bam. So this is what we got. And lastly, I want to give it for the post. I want to give it like a green. So I'm going to go all the way up top. New layer. I'm going to go to edit, fill. Give it a 50% gray. Hit OK. Then I want to make that a smart filter Then I'm going to go back into filter and then go to noise, add noise. And I think I want to give it like a 35 hit. Okay. And make the blending mode soft light. So we get this little like grainy look to it. Let's see what linear linear light does or vivid. Vivid light looks insane. Yeah, vivid light looks pretty sick. But let's bring down the the noise. So I'm gonna click on a I'm gonna click on the smart filter on that layer and bring down the noise to like 25. Hit OK. Living. That looks pretty sick. Nice and grungy, cool. That's good. I'm happy with this. All right, so. From here, I want to I want to make a couple pieces of merch off playing off of this poster. So I want to save this poster command save. I want to make sure I got that. And then now I want to duplicate. I want to duplicate this file and that's going to image hit duplicate and then name it like play to hit OK. And what that does is just duplicates the file so you can go back and forth. So this is my original. This is my second file. With the second file, what I want to do is try to come up with a t-shirt graphic using this art. You could easily slap this on a t-shirt, but that's not how I like to roll. So what I want to do is just 
maybe remove the background and come up with the t-shirt graphic it's really just taking this image of playboy cardi and and maybe playing with type you don't need the background and all that extra stuff but if we do need it then you know we have it All right, I got the t-shirt done. I feel like this is pretty cool. Um, I wanted a black t-shirt and then like I saw that the hair was kind of getting lost in the, the body color. So I thought maybe uh, using that white bold type to kind of like give it like a backdrop and kind of fill in that part so you can see the hair kind of stick out a little bit more. So, I, and then I gave it like a little touch on with a gradient overlay on the type. And I think that works. So I want to kind of add a, ma a lighter and uh, a mask and maybe a beanie to kind of complete the group. I'll jump onto that and speed it up so you can check it out. So here you go, guys. I was able to make a couple pieces of merch off of this one poster. I hope y'all like this video. I have more content coming soon. And if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, please leave a comment, share, like, subscribe. Stay tuned. Appreciate y'all.